what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? If the long-held grudge between Michael Jordan and Isaiah Thomas had any hope of softening in the decades since their Chicago Bulls and Detroit Pistons met in four straight NBA playoff series from 1988 to 91, the Last Dance documentary has all but solidified them taking their beef to the grave. Isaiah Thomas was recently interviewed and he said he didn't appreciate that diss from Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan called Isaiah an a-hole and Isaiah took offense to it. He said he was surprised to hear that because Jordan has always been so cordial to him and his son. He said he's seen him often in the decades since that rivalry. And he said that Jordan has always exchanged pleasantries. But in the documentary, Jordan seemed to be still a little bitter about how Isaiah and his teammates for the Detroit Pistons just walked off the court without shaking hands after the Chicago Bulls finally eliminated them in the playoffs, swept them four straight games. Isaiah said, when Michael Jordan and the Bulls finally beat him and the Detroit Pistons in the playoffs, he didn't think it was a big deal to just walk off the court without shaking hands. He said primarily he felt that way because the Boston Celtics did the same thing to them. So he felt like the behavior was kind of passed down and it was acceptable. Apparently not for Jordan and a number of other people, including the whole city of Chicago. They was pissed about that. Isaiah seemed to still have a little resentment though. <laughs> Isaiah said that the Chicago Bulls could not beat the Pistons, the Lakers, or the Celtics. He said that Jordan couldn't beat, he said Jordan never beat Julius Irvin, him, Magic, or Bird in the playoffs in the 80s. Without proper context, you, you know, you got to kind of like take that with a grain of salt because in 81, Jordan was still in high school. And also, Julius Irvin is 13 years older than Jordan. Larry Bird is six years older than Jordan. And Magic Johnson is three years older than Jordan. When they beat Jordan in the 80s, they all had Hall of Fame players on their team. They had all-stars. They were playing with all-stars. And Jordan didn't have any all-stars. He was the lone all-star on his team at that time when he was playing against those guys. So, eh, Isaiah, come on, dog. I like you, man, but you got to keep it real, dog. You got to keep it a buck. And y'all know I'm not a, a fan of Jordan. But, you know, the truth don't care who tell it. And it is what it is. I personally think the dude is the best to ever play the game, you know? But Isaiah, Isaiah went as far as saying that Jordan ain't even in the top three. His pick for his top five is, what did he say? He said Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, number one. Number two, Larry Bird, number three, Magic Johnson, then Jordan, then Dr. J. What do y'all think about those picks? That's the order. Is Jordan? 
Who got Jordan like not being the best player to ever play the game? Or not being a, like a top three player? I never seen anybody, I never heard of anybody putting Jordan that low on the list of all time greatest players. <laughs> You got Jordan listed at number four. Typically, you have people squabbling about Jordan, Kobe, or LeBron, right? Yeah, I still got Jordan. Here's the funny thing. Magic and Larry Bird said that Jordan was the greatest to ever play the game. And Isaiah alluded to that fact in an early interview back in the 90s. He said the guy who said that Jordan was unstoppable, basically. Reminds me a little of myself. You know, I averaged 10 points back in my day. 10 points. 10 rebounds, one assist. Yeah, this was like ninth grade. I'm telling you, man. Ninth grade PE. Oh, man, I was unstoppable. No more top. What the haters talking about?